Handshake by Shopify. What is it? How do you sell on it? How do you buy on it? How do you use it to make more profit? Everything you need to know about Handshake is going to be in this video. Remember that in this video, I talked about how B2B should be keeping your lights on and B2C is kind of the cherry on top, but most businesses survive on B2B. Yeah. Wholesale is important. Now, finding wholesale customers can sometimes be really tough. And that is why Shopify kind of wanted to help out with a marketplace called Handshake. Now, first, I'm going to go over how you can buy from Handshake. So if you are a shop and you want to buy from different suppliers, Handshake might just be the place for you. After that, we'll tell you on how to sell on Handshake. But before we touch about that, I just want to launch one last thing, which is Handshake's competition. They come in a couple of different categories. First, you have the ones that are really similar to Handshake, which is fair.com and tundra.com which is basically wholesale marketplace. And then you have the second category, which is everything that's drop shipping. And we covered a bunch of apps already for that. So you want to make sure to check out these ones as well. But all right, back to Handshake. How do you, as a store owner that wants to have more inventory, buy on Handshake? First of all, you must be located in the US. You must not resell the products on things like Amazon or Etsy. You must have a seller ID number. And then you must do the classic things as, you know, agree to the terms and conditions and give valid information about your business and, oh, actually have a business as well. It doesn't need to be a Shopify store. It needs to be, you know, a pop-up or some sort of store. Now you can sign up for Handshake. You don't need a Shopify store, as I mentioned, but you have to sign up with your Shopify idea in order to buy. To sell, you need a Shopify store, but we'll get to that later. So I'll show you right here. You just quickly go to the sign up process. You get approved, blah, 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 blah. And paboom, you arrive on the actual Handshake marketplace. Now remember, this is only for US based people. And right now they're not really expanding, but once you're on here, you can browse by category or by search or use the filter. It's a pretty common shopping experience. There's not really much to add. In you can contact different sellers and you can add a whole bunch of things to your cart. Now, let's say you add the yoga pants from seller A to your cart and the candles for seller B. That's going to be two separate transactions. Each seller has their own minimum orders, their own shipping fees and rules and their own return rules. So be careful of that. So you might wonder why would I use Handshake to buy stuff? Why not use Fair or any of the drop shipping apps? Well, the main advantage is that everyone that is selling on Handshake is certified by Shopify. So Shopify knows there is specific certain standard. It's also free of charge and you know, it's easy. There's a whole bunch of different products in one area. But another big advantage is it's independent US based stores. So you don't have some random dude that you think is in Switzerland, but turns out to be in Korea buying from a North Korean selling to a Chinese going to Colombia, ending up in your store. No, it's pretty straightforward. It's probably a couple of states away from you. Now, of course, there's also a couple of cons to be buying on Handshake. First of all, obviously it's only US, but I've mentioned this 10 times already. So most items, pretty much all items, because it's wholesale, 99% of the items have minimum orders, which Okay. There's also no drop shipping. So don't expect to find like drop shippers in this. They're not going to be drop shipping you anything. You have to order in bulk and get it shipped to you. And there is no payment terms. Now this might change in the distant future, not in the near future. But for now, you just have to pony up the entire amount and there's no one here to give you a loan or to break up the payments. That's kind of the downsides. Okay, now you understand how to buy on Handshake, but what about selling on Handshake? Well, as we mentioned before, you need to be approved. So you need to go to your Shopify store. You need to have a Shopify store to start with, with a minimum of one sale. I also know like there is a certain quality standards they will be looking at when they approve you. The approval process to be able to sell on Handshake is about 10 days to 14 days. And you know, they can be tough. You know, there is a bar you need to meet a certain amount of requirements, including like pictures and stuff like that. You can't just dump anything on there. Another thing to note is you cannot resell products on 
handshake, like we mentioned before. These need to be your own products. And in addition to that, it needs to fit the categories that handshake already has. So that maybe is a little limitation for the people selling really strange stuff out there. In order to set it up, you just go into your app store, add it as a sales channel, and then that automatically brings up the approval process, which again is going to take somewhere from 10 to 14 days. Now you might be wondering, what are some of the pros of me adding Handshake as a sales channel? Wait, no, I'll tell you what I think afterwards. What are some of the objective pros first? It's, it's easy to set up. There's no fees, no commission that Shopify takes. It integrates directly into your Shopify. You can build solid relationships because you know your, your communication isn't monitored or anything. You, you're free to communicate with your buyers. They also have the widget, but that falls under easy to integrate. And then also your payments, they immediately come into your store just like any other payments. So, you know, those are some big advantages. Some of the cons of using Handshake is that you know, apparently people are saying that there's not a lot of sales on it. Although the ones that do say there would be sales, would they really be posting it online? So you're not going to break sales records with Handshake is what we're under the impression. The customization of the templates is also very limited. And like we mentioned earlier, there is no payment term. So if you're selling really big pro products, that are expensive and you want to sell them wholesale, no payment terms, it makes it a little bit difficult. And finally, there is very little data about how much your page is being viewed or like how much it gets clicked or there's really no analytics. So you don't know if the platform isn't that great altogether or if it's your listing, that's not fantastic. All right, so should you use Handshake? To buy products, yeah, sure, definitely sign up and go take a look what people sell on there. It might be very useful for you. To sell products, why not? Sign up if there's no fees, no commission. However, we do see people being like, hey, I'm not getting accepted for Handshake. Oh my God, my life is over. No, don't break your head over it. Like if you're not getting accepted or if it's too long, whatever, just start the sign up process. And if it's too complex in the end, just, okay, it's gonna be one sales channel less. And if you pass, it's gonna be one sales channel more. There's really little maintenance to do about it. The bet that I'm taking, and this is a bet, is you're not guaranteed success, on why you should probably sell on Handshake if you can, is that, you know, it's in the early stages or it's not getting a whole lot of attention of Shopify for the moment. But Shopify did purchase Handshake and they put down a, what I assume to be a pretty penny. I'm assuming it wasn't free. We don't know how much. And so there is an assumption or a bet to be taken that maybe one day Shopify is going to be like, okay, we're going to push this to the next level. Shopify, after all, has been pushed a lot to do marketplaces, to be pushing more marketplaces. So maybe Handshake is going to be a part of that. If Shopify does decide to focus on Handshake and double down their investment on it, and that's an if, you're going to have a first mover advantage. You're already going to be used to the platform. You're going to have some experience on it, some visibility on it. And if Shopify does suddenly decide to invest hundreds of millions of dollars in it, that could definitely boost your business as a whole. It's kind of like being the first on an Amazon listing, but it's a big if. On the other hand, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up, so why not just do it? Well, that's it about Handshake. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And before you leave, if you're not making more than 25% of your revenue from email marketing, you're leaving money on the table. I talked about email marketing in here, but I just wanna make sure that you know that there is the best course on the internet about email marketing. Like literally, I went to the guy and be like, you're the best, can we, you know, work something out. There's a link down below to Chase Demon, his course. You can research how good he is. He's fantastic. It's like a six hour course. You're going to get your return on investment guaranteed and you're helping out the channel. So make sure to check out that link as well. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in another Shopify video. Ciao.